What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, and this time for the new Dave Franco film, Nerve. Nerve is directed by Henry Joost and Ariel Schulman and is the story of a game that is created online where you can either choose to be a watcher or a player and if you're a player, people that are then watching you create dares for you to complete and then you get money. Now if you're a watcher you have to pay a subscription to watch this game and it's an extremely underground game that the police don't know about and no one knows about and allegedly in the past it's gotten very dangerous. Emma Roberts, playing a sort of shy girl, sees her friends playing the game, and she decides that she's going to step out of her comfort zone and do it. And while she does her first dare, she encounters Dave Franco. Now, the watchers of the game then decide to have them work together on their dares for the rest of the time the game is going on. And throughout this time, they encounter other players and have to do more and more terrifying dares. I think the concept of this movie is its biggest strength because it's an extremely interesting idea and the way they portray it in the film actually feels like it could be something that could really happen. This is a game that I could imagine someone actually making and then people really going out in the world and laying on train tracks or climbing on buildings and doing all of these crazy things just to become famous from the viralness of what they are doing. I also think that this movie really captures the youthful essence that it's going for, being as it's directed by Ariel Shulman and Henry Joes, Shulman being the brother of Neve from Catfish, I think that the two of them actually very much understand the youth and their ideals and the views they have of the world. And ironically, I want to compare this to Max Joseph, who is Neve's sidekick in Catfish's film, We Are Your Friends, which I think really wanted to be that film, but sort of missed it. And while this movie doesn't have that type of sense to it, this is a much more just thriller fun film, I think that this movie also just really captures it. The music in this movie is very lively and young and the lighting is all neons and it's very interesting looking and I think directing wise this movie is filmed actually extremely well and they use these on-screen effects to show watcher or player or it's like you're watching it on your phone. It shows how many views there are, the comments in the corner, things of that nature and I think it all really works together to create this very whole feeling idea. Some of the stunts they have them do in the movie actually were very intense. There were a couple that actually had me like on the edge of my seat. And then along with that, I think all of the performances in the movie are pretty decent. I wouldn't really say anyone is good. Everyone's pretty much just fine. Although I did really enjoy Machine Gun Kelly as a supporting role. I thought he was actually really fun in the movie. My main issues with this movie though are the plot. The ending of this film is extremely convenient and it sort of bothered me how convenient it was because it felt like extremely lazy writing the way the film ends. There's also many plot points in the film that are very brushed over. They're brought up multiple times like they're supposed to be important to the story but then as the movie progresses they're never brought up and if they are brought up they're never talked about in depth so you really understand what happened and I felt that it sort of took away something from the characters in the movie when we know that these things have happened in their lives because they talk about them but we never get enough detail for us to make it to make it so we actually care about the fact that this happened to them. And then along with the convenience of the ending, it also just tells you what you're supposed to feel. And I really hate it when movies do that. If your movie is trying to say something about society or the youth or what is going on in the world, you need to not blatantly say it. Because especially with a film like this, where the message gets across very well. There's nothing that's hidden in this movie, yet they have someone say something at the end that to me sort of almost kind of threw away what they had created up until that point. It didn't ruin the movie, but it ruined the ending a little bit to me because the ending was already weak, but then also having them basically explain what you were supposed to get out of the movie made it even weaker in my eyes. I'm gonna give Nerve a B. I thought that this was a fun movie to go see with your friends and stuff, but I feel like it suffers from some of those first purge problems where it has a very interesting concept and some of it is very well executed and I think this film is better than the first purge. However, it doesn't seem like they really pushed it to the limit that they could have and because of that, it sort of suffers slightly in the storytelling, but as a whole, it's a fun film to see in theaters. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Nerve, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.